Hello, love. Oh, don't be shy. Take a seat. Yes, yes. Settle in. I've laid out fresh pillows and lit my nice candles. Hmm? <laughs> well, I've been expecting you, dear. Fear not. I'm not a creep. I see many things before they happen. <laughs> I understand you aren't just here to browse, so please, tell me what you seek. You aren't sure? Uh, I suppose most people don't know what they want when they arrive. Why don't we start with what's happening in your life? Share with me a little introduction. A bit shy, are we? Well, that's nothing I can't fix, dear. A quick peek into my crystal ball will tell me everything I need to know. And you won't have to say a thing but your name. Does that sound better for you? Much better? <laughs> well then, allow me to dive into who you are. I see. I see. Mm. Much distress. Your life seems rather... Hectic. Anything you care to elaborate on? Well then, I think I've seen all I need to see. But may I make a recommendation? So, often when people wander in, they are looking for guidance, but they don't quite know how to ask. Just as what is happening here. I suggest you try a tarot card reading. What will it do? <laughs> tarot cards are there to give guidance. Many think it is a mystical way of locking in your ideal future, but the way I see it is completely different. They serve as a tool of interpretation. They guide you, but they do not tell you what to do, or what will happen. After all, your future is up to you, my dear. <laughs> Did I catch your interest? Now, now, no need to be shy. Come, move closer, and I will show you what you may need to help yourself. Seventy-eight cards, all containing their own imagery and symbolism. Each tells a story. Any one story can be told if the cards are arranged correctly. Twenty-two of these cards represent the major arcana, whereas there are fifty-six minor arcana cards. The major represents life's karmic and spiritual lessons while the minor stands for the day-to-day -day trials we face. On top of this, each card has their own interpretation. As I said, your future is up to you and you only. The major arcana cards are divided into three categories. The realm of this physical world, the realm of the intuitive mind, and the realm of transformation. There are four different tarot suits within the minor arcana. The cups, the swords, the wands, and the pentacles. I will begin shortly, but 
I must remind you that the most effective way to use the tarot is to use the cards to access your inner wisdom. Bear this in mind, dear. Now, I need you to clear your mind. Breathe deeply and with purpose, each breath releasing your inner tension and creating a clear mind. Let your body relax. Allow yourself to let go. We must create an environment that welcomes the tarot into your life. And now, I present to you today the cards to aid in your venture for peace and fulfillment. Reach for the first card that calls to you, and do not flip it over or peek, dear. Am I understood? Very well. Go on. Precisely like that. Now I will need for you to pick two more. Don't be shy, darling. One more. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you know what these three cards represent? You've guessed it easily enough. <laughs> the first is the past, the second is the present, and the third is the future. But, you may not know what they mean if you're asking a specific question. In a circumstance like that, it would represent what is unknown about the current problem or question, what is blocking you, and then finally how to proceed for the best result. Not that this specifically applies to you, you just seem rather interested. Your eyes are quite wide. Perhaps you're becoming more interesting in me and my work? Mm. Well, I'm glad your skepticism is fading. Now with these cards, you didn't just pick willy-nilly, did you? No, no, that's good. You are to feel the cards and reach for the ones that call to you. <sighs> With that being said, let us delve into your past. Ah, the Three of Cups. This card customarily represents growth, success, creativity, and bonds in magic and friendship. A celebration of collaboration as well. Though, as you can see, it is reversed, which tells a different meaning. It isn't always necessarily bad when a card is upturned, but it does hold an alternate definition. This in particular represents strife within a group of friends and or peers and roadblocks in your creativity and work. From another perspective, it means independence and much alone time. What does this mean to you? I see. Allow me to move on to you now. A reversed King of Wands. This would represent a person of utmost confidence and ability. Passion, outgoing charm, and generosity. This also represents mentorship and creative ability. Alas, there is a shift when it is turned upside down. It changes more to a question. One that you ask yourself. It asks who you truly are, 
It's a question to how much you truly believe in your work, your creativity. It can also be interpreted as arrogance and selfishness, but again, the cards are best taken in how it applies to you. And for that, all I will say is the truth. You do have the ability to succeed in whatever situation is presenting itself. Be open to personal growth and transformation, and do not let your fears undermine your sense of self-confidence. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It is not my place to hear what is currently happening. That is for you and only you, dear. And for the final card, your future. Mm. The Ten of Cups, a positive omen. Why, of course, a positive omen exists. It's directly in front of you, darling. Love, imagination, fulfillment and joy, humor, happy home, and happy friendship. <laughs> My dear, it seems that you may have had a complete 180 degree turnaround in your future coming. This card is most promising. What do you have to do now? <laughs> Love that is completely up to you. But, I can give you this. What is it? <laughs> Citrine. A gemstone that grants prosperity wealth, protection, and luck. Though I cannot alter your future, I can give you my best wishes. I truly do hope you see success in your future. Now as for payment, I accept gold coin and fine silks. <laughs> Please, no. I'm only teasing. I couldn't accept plastic cards even if I desired to. <laughs> now go. Strive for the future that the cards are guiding you to. And remember, you are more than capable. The biggest obstacle that is in front of you is your own fears. Go do great things. And visit me soon. I always love check-ins, dear. <laughs> hey guys, this is Gentle GF. Thank you so much for watching. This audio is part of the Super Spooky and Spiritual ASMR Collection, a new Halloween themed audio every week for the month of October. This one was very interesting to read up on, and I got to use a very nice set of tarot cards. As always, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And if the cards are in my favor, maybe you'll follow me on Twitter and Kofi as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and maybe spare me some fancy silks, would you? 